Hello ladies and gentlemen and the people that live inside of the YouTubes. My name is John and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create great looking presentations inside of the Visual Studio Codes. Now in 2021 being a developer I think it's pretty much impossible to work on code and not have to present it to other people. Now most of us nowadays are all working remotely, so we're pretty much constantly on Zoom or MS Teams. We constantly have to present our code. Now it doesn't make a difference if we're just talking through a problem with a colleague. We might be doing a code review. We might even be going for a job interview. You could be one of those crazy people that likes to talk at meetups or conferences. So there's pretty much a wide use case of why you need to present your code to other people. And there's actually a big difference of being able to present your code in a nice, easy, clean way compared to just rambling on. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks. I'm going to talk about some programs, some packages, some themes that's going to allow you to create presentations that now, if you haven't come across any of my videos before, my name is John, and if you wanna be an absolute legend, smash that subscribe button now. I do weekly YouTube videos on stuff like VS Code, productivity, CMS development. So if you're a developer and you want to be better at your job, I recommend you subscribing to this channel because it's free, it's not gonna hurt you, so give it a try. Now, the first tip that I'm gonna go through is a program which is gonna allow you to do better screen sharing when you're presenting. So let's switch over to my desktop view and let's have a look at this program in action. My first recommendation is to download and install Zoomit. Zoomit is a screen annotation tool. Unfortunately, it's just for Windows. So Mac users, I promise, pinky promise, if you carry on watching, everything else will be VS Code. Now, Zoomit is great because it allows you to annotate the screen online. So by pressing Control 2 and then drawing on the screen, I can make these nice little wiggles. I can also do Control 2 and drag my mouse to create a box. I can do Control 2 and then Shift, and that's gonna allow me to do straight lines. Control 2, Control and Shift, and I can draw arrows. I can also do an ellipsis by keeping my finger on the tab. And I can also zoom into any area in the screen by doing a Control 1. So Zoom It is a really useful tool. It's just gonna allow you to focus the viewer's attention when you're making your presentation onto the bit that you're talking about. So I highly recommend it and I use it in every single one of my videos. When you are presenting code to people, it's really distracting to have unneeded things on the screen. So having your Solution Explorer or your terminal, all it's gonna do is distract your viewer's eyes from where you want them to look. So a great way of making your presentation within VS Code is to get rid of all of this thing. Now, out of the box, there's a really easy way to do this. Now, you can open the command palette, and if you type in Zen mode, so Control, Shift, and P to open the palette, type in toggle Zen mode, as you can see there, everything goes away. Now, this is going to be much easier because you'll be able to focus the viewer's attention, and you can escape it by just pressing the Escape button. Now, if you're more into your extensions, if you do a search for presentation mode, as you can see here, there's actually a package which allows you to do this as well. Now, you could probably get away with Zen mode. However, this is gonna do a very similar thing. So after installing presentation mode, what you can do again is a control shift and a P to open the palette, type in presentation mode, add it on, and as you can see, it's zoomed in. Now, the nice thing about presentation mode is it's a little bit bigger. So let's open some code and do presentation mode. So as you can see, it's a bit bigger than the Zen mode. However, this is a better way of being able to present. And especially when you're using things like Zoom it, you can see that it's really easy to focus your viewer's attention onto the bits of code that you care about. One of the more daunting things when giving a presentation and coding is things going wrong. If the demo gods are gonna hate you, it's likely gonna go wrong when you're in front of other people. So you might practice for ages and ages at home with no problems. However, as soon as you have to worry about talking, being eloquent, hitting all your talking points while doing some live coding, it can be a bit of a mind blower. Now, trust me, as a YouTube recorder, there's plenty of times where I've had to redo a scene just because I made some silly mistakes and I can't be bothered to let you guys see and waste your time by my stupidity. So wouldn't it be amazing if you could pre-record all the code that you wanted to talk about ahead of time, and then when you're doing your presentation, instead of worrying about the live coding, basically pressing a button and making it look like you're doing live coding. This can give you the confidence and make you feel secure that things aren't gonna go wrong. 
And this is exactly what you can do using a plugin called VS Code Hacker Typer. So let's have a look at this extension in action. Now, as always, we need to mosey over to the Marketplace Manager. And in here, you just need to type in Hacker Typer. And as you can see, we have this VS Code Hacker Typer. So I've already got the extension, the extension installed. However, just click on this. And as you can see from the example, this extension will help you look cool while live coding. And that's exactly what we want to do. So assuming we have the plugin installed, let's give you a bit of a demo. So we access Hacker Typer by the command palette and we just do Hacker Typer record macro. Now we're in recording mode, you can type and record things as you want. So let's just do const my var equals new my class. I mean, you can type in whatever. It's just gonna record what you're doing. So var like one equals three plus four. Doesn't need to be proper code. It doesn't make a difference what you're typing. Let's do blah, blah, blah. Now one thing when you're giving your presentation, you probably wanna make sure that it stops at the right place. So you can do this by doing hacker typer and then doing insert soft stop tweet. Now we can save our macro by doing hacker typer again and save macro. We can give it our name, so let's do it presentation and hit return. So you can't see it, but a little pop-up's gone in the bottom left-hand corner, which is saying things have been saved. So now we can delete our code, open the command prompt again and do hacker typer, and then let's do a play macro this time. And then we're gonna do presentation. Now I'm looking at you, I'm not looking at the screen and all I need to do is press the spacebar. And as you can see, code is starting to miraculously appear on screen. Now, as you can see, I've hit my touch point. So I'm still pressing the spacebar. However, I'm not doing any more coding. Now I'm actually trying to type some other bits and bobs on screen. So as you can see, my presentation is safe and secure and that's all you need to do. So don't worry about the live coding anymore. Pre-record it and use Hacker Typer to just make your life a lot easier when presenting. Basically, you just want to focus on what you want to talk about rather than trying to get your code to work at the same time. Clever, hey? When you are giving your presentations, I recommend that you think about the medium in which you'll be presenting your code. So there's loads of clever people out there and loads of people do loads of research on colour. And it's basically been proved that if you're presenting things on a screen, a dark theme is going to make things much easier to understand for the viewer. So this is the reason why a lot of developers pick dark screens to do their coding every day. However, the opposite is also true, that if you're actually presenting things in large rooms, especially if you're doing it over a projector, it's been proved that a light theme is actually much better. So even though you might love your dark theme day-to-day -day development, if you're giving a talk and you're doing it through a projector or you know in a big space, you want to go for a light theme because it's gonna make things easier for your viewers to see. Now, the one that I like to use is the GitHub theme. So if you do a GitHub, um, search in the marketplace for github theme as you can see it's been downloaded 2.5 million times so this is a popular one so install it click on set color theme from here we can go for the light one or the dark one however i'm just going to go for the normal github light so now when we actually look at our code if we're doing it in presentation mode as well this is going to look a lot better for your viewers if you're doing it via projector. So I definitely recommend you think about light themes if you're giving a real world talk. And that concludes all of my tips and tricks to help you improve your coding presentations when you have to display your code using Visual Studio Codes. So I would be really interesting to know if you've got your own tips, if you're currently using some of these yourself. Again, I do these videos for you guys out there. I don't really want to hear myself drone on for like 10 minutes. So any feedback you've got, I would love to hear it. Now, if you haven't already, remember, hit the subscribe button. If you want some tips and tricks every week, which will help you become better at your job and become better at programming, you've got nothing to lose. It's free. Hit the subscribe button. Also, I do a weekly newsletter, comes out every Sunday, just gives you an update of some of the content I've been writing and interesting things, which will make us all better at our jobs. It's free, link below. 
Finally, if you want to do me a solid and help me trick the YouTube algorithm god into sharing my video to more people, hit that like button. I very much appreciate it. Otherwise, I hope you have found a bit of value from this video. I hope you're having an amazing time wherever you are in the world right now. And until next time, happy coding.